Hello everyone. Darren, do you have any guess what this is? This is a package of something. And what this package package is of and what it has inside doesn't match. So I'm showing you guys what it has inside. Okay, this is a package of snacks that I'm sending to one of my friends in Sweden. I'm not uploading this before she gets this, but I'm just showing you guys what I sent her. I mean we decided that we would exchange some snacks so and we set the limit of the price like between 1000 yen to 2000 yen yeah yeah we decided to exchange snacks this time if we will ever do this again so there are actually many things that I wanted to get her but it exceeded the price limit and kind of I had other things other than snacks so this time I chose only things that would not go beyond 2000 yen and snacks. Well, some are not snacks really, but anyway, whatever. You, you wanna see it, I know. So, yeah, maybe you think it boring, but dead end. I've already packaged everything in, but I thought, I remembered I forgot to film this, so I'm ex extracting everything. And why I'm uh, putting newspaper on the on the floor is because maybe when she watches this video and when I'm putting her gift on the floor directly, which I step on with my feet every day, so I thought she might find it dirty a little bit, so I use this newspaper. Okay, I got, I would say, pretty many stuff. Anyway, I packaged them, them in a very, very uh, organized way, so I didn't want to really unpack them all, but you know it. Then, then, pretty many things, I guess. And I hope I can manage to put them back all again. You know, there are many things that I wanted to give her but these are what I chose this time only this time and hopefully we have another chance I didn't want to exceed this uh, price limit and the, I didn't want them to be really heavy because sometimes it's absurd that it costs more to send overseas than what you got like how much you paid for these the shipping fee is more than the price of these is uh, what I got. Anyway, these are what I got. Okay, this is ume, plum, and I chose Japan made plum because there are many such things like these who, uh, that use Chinese plum, which I personally wouldn't want to eat because I don't want to. <laughs> okay, yeah. Anyway, this is a uh, panda. Um, what it? How do you describe it? Crispy? If you have ever eaten plum, it, you know what it, how it uh, feels like. It's a, a bit hard. And it's got seed inside. Each of them. And this is senbe. And it says soka shoyu. Kusa. Kueru. And kozo chukshu directly from the factory. And it's got six of them. And this is soy. Uh, be, uh, soy sauce flavor. Jigabi de yakiage katsu da shou kikaseta shouyu dare de ajitsuke shimashita. Yeah, I like uh, these. These are what I also personally like, so hopefully she likes it too. This is jagariko, one of my favorite snacks too. Jagabata, uh, potato butter flavor, Hokkaido. Jagariko, jagariko. I, I, I haven't done a review on this because this is not. Uh, irregular or season, limited season flavors, but this is one of the regular flavors, so Jagariko, I like it. And this is a package of miso shiru, miso, miso soup. Uh, there were many, so <laughs> it was uh, difficult to choose one, but I randomly chose this because it's got three miso soup pack packs and it was reasonable price and n not so heavy. I mean, this is only 51 grams, and it uses fresh, raw miso. There are kinds of miso soup that use powder miso, like those uh, instant miso soup, but they were lighter. But. And this is it. 
if you remember I did a review on this and she said she would like to like to try this if, if I can find any and hope yeah I could find one this was season limited I guess so glad I could find one Ooh, squeak. and these are what's called umai bo umai literally means delicious yummy tasty and bo means sticky so umai I mean, I mean not sticky but stick so delicious stick yummy stick tasty stick and this is a corn potage flavor there are many like more than 10 but I chose these I actually had five of them but I extracted one because uh, the amount of weight exceeded uh, 1500 grams which would add more shipping fee if it exceeds that so I extracted one so all these with all these it's just less than uh, 1500 grams beyond that it, it has next step of shipping fee which I wouldn't like so <laughs> I extracted one this is only 8 gram each so this is pizza flavor and this is takoyaki flavor takoyaki so I chose these two natto flavor like Japan-ish flavor and these as European flavor pizza and compotage which maybe she is more familiar to than takoyaki and natto yeah, as I said, there are many, so hopefully I can show you guys later, personally. And this is a snack that I used to eat when I was a child, like on school trip, field trip, yeah, field trip. Yakiniku-san taro. Pirikara deo. So this is a snack made of some fish, minced, minced fish, and flavored with yakiniku tare, yakiniku sauce. This one, the same, yeah, I mean, fish body, but this tastes like kabayaki, kabayaki, unagi kabayaki, eel kabayaki. Kabayaki is kind of style of grilling. This is taco, I mean, octopus. This is not the flesh of octopus, but also an other kind of fish. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say anything. It says something, but it doesn't say what kind of fish. But anyway, this is uh, vinegar octopus. Tastes like octopus vinegar, but not really octopus flesh. This is plum flavor uh, thing, snack. No shume san taro. Korea ume. Niku ume. Ume niku. Ba. Bai niku. And this is another snack that I used to eat. I, I like this actually, even still. And Miyako Kombu. Uh, kombu, it's kind of a seaweed kombu. And it has powder that's, that's, that tastes a bit so, so soury, soury, like vinegarish. This is a can of Sanma Kawayaki. I also wanted to get a can of uh, other fish like Maguro and uh, saba, saba no misoni but you know those can products those can snacks are kind of heavy compared to others so I didn't I couldn't get others for now only only I mean two actually hopefully she likes it I like it not really do I often eat this kind of food but I like uh, this kind of food and this is can yakitori canned yakitori Kote tareaji sauce, shoyu ish sauce. Tare is a tare, but I don't know how to describe it. Kind of sweet soy sauce, sticky ish sauce. Sumiyaki yakitori, kokusan tori niku. Yakitori, yashoi! Hitoi desu ka? And this is uh, matcha pudding. Uji matcha. Uji matcha is a sort of uh, kind of matcha brand in Kyoto. Nihon. Uh, but it says Nihon Bashi, so maybe I'm, I'm wrong. But Uji, I think, is Kyoto. But this is Nihon Bashi, which is in Tokyo. So it uses Kyoto made matcha, matcha pudding. I personally don't like this kind of sweets. I mean, this azuki, azuki beans, because it's, I don't like its texture. And matcha, 
I'm not really a fan of matcha either, but I thought this is really like Japan ish pudding. Yep, and、uh, expiry date is June 6th, and today is、uh, 28th May. So hopefully, these, these arrive before these expiry date. This also, but she said she wouldn't mind it because it's, I mean, completely packed, so it's just like guarantee. And、uh, yeah, this is haichu. Four different kinds of haichu it has melon, melon, grape, strawberry, green apple. Yep. There are other haichu that, is, that has only one flavor of haichu with 12 pieces, like this size. This size. But this has four different flavors in one package, so it's cool. And this is warabi mochi, kind of mochi that uses certain kind of <laughs> ingredient. I don't know what this I, I mean, I, I know what this is, but I don't know how to describe this. But this is anyway, kind of mochi, rice cake. Kuromitsu, the black、uh, sugar sauce, and kinako. Kinako is a kind of powder made of some beans. Yep. I like this kind of snack, sweets. And this is nut,、uh, dried natto beans, puchipori, ume, a plum flavor. Seems like Japanese people, including me, like. I like、uh, ume plum flavor. As you can hear, this is really dry. So maybe people, typically、uh, non Japanese people who might not like natto, would have less difficulty eating this because it, I don't think this is. This, this smells like natto, like real fresh natto. And it also has plum flavor. Hopefully. She can at least eat this and she will hopefully like it. And this is、uh, what's called baby star ramen snack. Fried kind of ramen snack. Fried noodle. Chicken, chicken flavor. It four, has four different flavors. Chicken, you know, it's a, the very original flavor of this baby star ramen. Chicken. And yakisoba, sauce flavor. Yakisoba. And also ramen. Umashio, yeah, so tasty, yummy, delicious. Shio, salt. So tasty, salt flavor. And、uh, also baby star ramen. Tonkotsu shoyu. So tonkotsu ramen shoyu flavor. Tonkotsu shoyu flavor. So tonkotsu soy sauce flavor. And this is happy tan. I don't know how to pronounce this in English, but it says happy tan. So, I don't know if it's turn, like return, ha happy turn,、oh, I don't know. Maybe happy comes back, returns at you, to you. Happy turn. And I heard and I think that this is、uh, what I don't really want to use foreigners, but well, foreigners, people who are not used to eating Japanese snacks, would like. I mean, this is a、uh, senbei, like this, but this is soy. Sauce flavor, but this is sugar. I mean, not just sugar, but、uh, sweet. And this is, and it, <laughs> yaki soba じゃなくて senbe. And it has powder on its surface, and it's sweet. Senbe itself, this senbe itself is not sweet. Yep, that's it. This is all I will send to her this time, only this time. There are As I said, there are many other things that I thought that she would like and she would find interesting or weird that I wanted to send this time with these, but I couldn't because of the cost problem. I didn't have enough money to buy these, buy more, and、uh, for the shipping fee to be expensive. I wouldn't like it. With these, it's less than, just less than. 1500 grams, which is only like 2300 something for shipping fee. I mean,、uh, I don't know if it's if you consider it expensive, but I hate it. <laughs> shipping fee itself is more expensive than the amount of、uh, things that I bought for 
how much I paid. Right, that's international shipping, and it's because I'm sending these to Europe. If it's America and Canada, I mean North America, it would be a bit less. Anyway, if there's anyone, not anyone, but if there's uh, other close friends of mine who'd like to uh, exchange snacks or food, I would love to do it only if I have enough money prepared, okay? Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm sorry if I made you hungry or very uh, envious because you can't get these where you live. Or maybe you can, in which case you can get these as you like. Anyways, bye. And you will watch this maybe when you receive these. Right, thanks for watching. This was Kohei, I think. It was fun choosing which snack I would get her huh? because I, I, I spent pretty long time because uh, I was thinking about the price, price range and uh, uh, weight and the uh, size also. Yeah, there are many other things that I wanted to get this time but were too big or too heavy. <laughs> it sucks really. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. Okay. I managed to put these back so beautifully again and it can close just so fine. Beautiful. Yeah, nice job, Koe. Good job. Actually, I think I need to change the box because I think this box is maybe too weak. And I think I'd like to change it to this box, Amazon's box, because it seems this look this box is harder. Yeah, and it, it has more space, so it would cost more fee, but then I would maybe add these also. This is a different flavor of yakitori, salt flavor, because I had this also. And this is mochi uh, sweet, a strawberry mochi uh, sweet, mochi chocolate, bourbon. I like it, I like it. It has mochi outside. Inside is cho choco, and inside it also is choco. Ichigo choco, strawberry choco, and uh, regular choco. Yeah, I like it. Mochi chocolate.